Hello, I am Aniket from Turkish Academy. CMAT 2023 is around the corner and our daily video series is still continuing. In this video series, we have uploaded videos on innovation and entrepreneurship and general awareness. We have uploaded a few videos on logical reasoning topics as well. Now in today's video, we are going to focus on number systems. So let us study that. Our target is to score more than 300 marks in the CMAT exam and I hope everyone is on track to achieve that currently. Okay. If you want to join our academy, do connect with us on the numbers given in the description of the video. We provide everything that is needed to help you join our dream business. I would highly recommend that you join our telegram channel to solve all your academic and non-academic doubts. Link for the telegram channel is in the description of the video. So number systems. What is number system? You have heard about decimal number system. So decimal number system, matlab, hamara pura maths ye decimal number system pe hai. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Thus digits rehte hai decimal number system. Then you must have heard about binary. Binary mein sirf 0, 1 rehte hai. Theek hai? Then you must have heard about octal number system. Octal number system has 7 numbers uh, Eight numbers in it 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Then you have hexadecimal number system. Hexadecimal. So, hexadecimal number system. This has 0 to 9, 10 digits, and then A, B, C, D, E, F. Like this, it has 16 numbers. Okay, like this, it has 16 numbers. Okay. Now, what is the base here? Here the base is 10. Here the base is 2. Here the base is 8. And here the base is 16. Right? So, base represents the number of digits in that number system. Okay. 2. If the base is 2, then there are 2 digits in the number system, in that particular number system. If the base is 16, then there are 16 digits in that number system. Let us say a base 5 number system will have how many digits? 5 digits. 1, 2, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. A base 13 number system will have how many digits in it? 0 to 9, 10 digits. And then A, B, C. Like this, it will have 13 digits in it. Okay. So this is how... What, this is what we understand by base system. Okay, this is what we understand by base system. Now, in this number system, you might get questions based on convert this number, which is in octal base system to hexadecimal base system. Okay, or convert this number, which is in base 4 and convert it into decimal. Okay, now... To solve such type of questions, we are going to study two methods. Okay. First method is decimal to any number system. Decimal to any number system. So, with base 10, we can convert the value to any base using one method only. Okay. And then next method will be from any number system to decimal number system. From any number system to decimal number system. Okay. So, let us say if you want to convert a base 13 number to decimal number, base 10 number, you can do that. Okay. Now, from these two, we will try to solve these type of questions. So, from base 8, we will convert it to base 10. And from base 10, we will convert it to base 16. And these type of questions can be solved using that. Okay. Why are we converting it to base 10 or decimal numbers? Because we understand maths in decimal numbers. And we are studying maths in decimal numbers. We are studying 0 to 9. And we are studying that. So, we will be converting all the bases to base 10 or base 10 to any number system. Okay. So, decimal to any. So, let us say 823 is a decimal number and I want to convert it to base 8 number or octal number. 
okay or the question might be what is the octal equivalent of 823 of decimal number 823 something like that okay so what do you do you write 823 then divide by this base divide by this base okay so 823 divided by 8 will be 1 0 2 what is the remainder the remainder is 7 okay now 102 divided by 8 so 8 12s are 8 12s are 96 correct remainder is 6 and we are interested in this remainder now here the base is 8 uh, we divide 12 by 8 we get 1 and the remainder is 4 correct now again the base is 8 we divide 1 by 8 we get 0 and the remainder is 1 okay if we reverse it if we reverse it you will get the number in the octal number system 1 4 6 7 to the base 8 okay this is very easy this is what you have to do what you have to do you have to write the number and divide by the base by which you want to get the in which you want to get the number so once you divide keep on dividing and write down the remainders to the side now once that is done once you come to zero you take all the remainders in reverse 1 4 6 7 okay and you will get that number okay we'll have more questions on this now we have to convert 426 which is in base 10 to a to a number which is in base 6 what do we do we write 426 divided by 6 so 426 divided by 6 will be how much 71 remainder 0 okay we are interested in the remainder so remainder is 0 again divided by 6 it is 11 remainder 5 okay remainder 5 Six eleven is sixty six. Again divided by six, you get one zero, and remainder is five. Again divided by six, you get zero, and remainder is one. We are interested in this. Okay, we are interested till this comes to zero, and we write out the remainders in reverse order. We get one five five zero to the base six. Okay, so four twenty six to the base ten. Is equal to one five five zero to the base six. Okay. Next one two four zero. We have to convert it into hexadecimal. Now. So one two four zero. You divide by sixteen. So one twenty four divided. So ninety six hundred and twelve is seven za. Then we are left with one twenty. Again seven za. And remainder is eight. Okay, now again sixteen seventy seven divided by sixteen, so sixteen of four is sixty four. Sixteen four is sixty four. Remainder is thirteen. Now this four is divided by sixteen. We get zero, and four is the remainder. Now you will write it like this. That is four thirteen and eight. This is wrong. We have to find out the Digit which we use to represent thirty. So you have zero to nine is done. Then ten is A, eleven is B, twelve is C, thirteen is D. So instead of thirteen, we write D. Okay, and reverse order. So answer is four D eight. Four D eight is the reverse order, and that is your hexadecimal equivalent of. One two four zero decimal. Okay, so I hope you have must have understood this method. Moving forward to any two decimal number system. So any two decimal number system is again easier easier than decimal to any. So what do we have? We have to convert this five forty six, which is in base seven, to decimal number system. Okay, so five forty six we write it like this five four six, and then whatever is the base. We take it in this fashion: seven raised to zero, seven raised to one, seven raised to two. Correct. 
and we multiply these numbers. So 6 into 7 raised to 0 is 6. 4 into 7 is 28. And 49 into 5 is 245. 49 into 5 is 245. Simply add it. What do you get? 245, 275, 279. That is the number in decimal system. Number system. 279 in decimal number system is 547, 546 in base 7 number system. Okay. This is how you have to convert it. What we are doing here? We have written down the number. Once we have written down the number, we have taken the base. We have taken the base, multiplied it, multiplied the unit digit by 7 raised to 0, tens digit by 7 raised to 1, and 7 raised to 2. Had there been one more digit, we would have taken 7 raised to 3. Okay, but I have no digit here, so 7 raised to 2 is clear. And we multiply it. Whatever answer comes, we just add it. जो भी आंसर आएगा उसको बस ऐड कर देना है ठीक है सो दिस इज योर एनी टू डेसिमल नंबर सिस्टम कुछ एग्जांपल्स देखते हैं दिस इज 1011010 इन डेसिमल नंबर इन बाइनरी नंबर सिस्टम व्हिच वी हैव टू कन्वर्ट टू डेसिमल नंबर सिस्टम सो व्हाट डू वी डू 101010 व्हाट इज द बेस 2 इज द बेस सो 2 रेज टू 0 2 raised to 1, 2 raised to 2, 2 raised to 3, 2 raised to 4, 2 raised to 5, 2 raised to 6. Simply we are writing it down. What do we do? We multiply these numbers. We multiply these numbers. So this is 0. This is 2. This is 0. This is 8. 2 cube into 1 is 8. 2 raised to 4 is 16 into 1 is 16. This is 0. 2 raised to 6 is 128. So 128 as it is. Now we add all these values. We add all these values. So this is 130, 146, 154. That is your number in decimal number system. 154 in decimal number. Moving forward to A, B, 1, 2 in hexadecimal number system to decimal number system. So we write A, B, 1 and what is the base system here? 16. So we take 16 raised to 0, 16 raised to 1, 16 raised to 2, and 16 raised to 3. From this, what do we get? We get 2 into 1. 16 raised to 0 is 1, right? So 2 into 1 is 2. 1 into 16 is 16. B, how do we write B? So we have gone 0 to 9. Then A represents 10. B represents 11. So this is 11 into 16 square, which is 256. 11 into 16 square, which is 256. So multiply 256 into 11. So this is 66, 6 carry. This is 55 plus 6. 55 plus 6, 61, 6 carry. 22 plus 6, 28. So you have 2816. Then you have 16 cube. How much is 16 cube? If you don't remember, 256 into 16 will give you 16 cube. No, 16 square is 256 multiplied by 16. So 16 6 is 96, 9 carry. 16 5 is 80 plus 9, 89, 8 carry. 16 2 is 32 plus 8, 40. Uh, plus 32 plus 8, 40. So this is 4096. And A represents what? 10. So 10 into 4096 is 40960. Simply adding all of these. Yes or no? This is what we do. Simply adding all of this. 40960, 2816, then 16 and 2. So you get 14 1 carry. This is 9. This is 17 1 carry. This is 3. And this is 4. 43,794 is the decimal equivalent of AB1 to hexadecimal number. Okay, na? simple si cheese hai, bahut zara difficult cheese nahi hai. Do methods se aap sare questions solve kar sakte. Okay, hai. abhi iske application dekhte hai. Application mein 726, jo ek octal number hai, base 8 number hai. We have to convert it into a number which is in base 13. 
ठीक है ना तो क्या करेंगे पहले 726 जो ऑक्टल नंबर है इसको पहले हम डेसिमल नंबर सिस्टम में कन्वर्ट करेंगे एंड डेसिमल से फिर हम उसको बेस 13 में कन्वर्ट करेंगे तो पहले इसको हमको डेसिमल में कन्वर्ट करना है तो कैसे करेंगे सेवन लिखेंगे टू लिखेंगे सिक्स लिखेंगे ये एट रेस टू जीरो ये एट रेस टू वन और ये एट रेस टू टू ऐसा आ जाएगा ठीक है सो सिक्स इंटू वन इज सिक्स टू इंटू एट इज सिक्सटीन एंड दिस इज हाउ मच सिक्सटी फोर इंटू सेवन सिक्सटी फोर इंटू सेवन दिस इज एट दिस इज टू फोर्टी टू प्लस टू फोर्टी फोर फोर फोर्टी टू फोर फोर्टी एट आ गया सिंपली एडिंग ऑल दीज वैल्यूज सो फोर फोर्टी एट सिक्सटीन एंड सिक्स कितना हो गया जीरो आ गया टू आ गया सेवन आ गया फोर आ गया 470 इज दी डेसिमल इक्विवेलेंट 470 इज दी डेसिमल इक्विवेलेंट अभी इसको बेस 13 में कन्वर्ट कर रहे हैं कैसे करेंगे 470 ले लेंगे और 13 से डिवाइड करते जाएंगे सो so, 13 से डिवाइड करेंगे तो 13 थ्री सा थर्टी नाइन थर्टी नाइन और रिमाइंडर कितना हो जाए एट्टी थर्टीन सिक्स जा सेवेंटी एट रिमाइंडर बचा टू फिर थर्टीन से फिर से डिवाइड करेंगे तो व्यू गेट टू थर्टीन टू जै ट्वेंटी सिक्स एंड रिमाइंडर कितना बचा टेन का फिर से थर्टीन से डिवाइड करेंगे जीरो क्वेश्चन आएगा एंड रिमाइंडर आएगा टू का ए इज वॉट ए ए इज टेन है ना तो यहाँ पे जो टेन आया है इट इज नथिंग बट ए इसको रिवर्स ऑर्डर में लिखना है अपने तो टू ए टू इज दी बेस थर्टीन इक्वेलेंट ऑफ सेवन ट्वेंटी सिक्स ऑक्टल नंबर टू ए टू ठीक है ना ऐसा आपका एप्लीकेशन रहे ठीक है ना सो नॉट अ वेरी डिफिकल्ट कंसेप्ट इफ यू हैव अंडरस्टूड दिस टू मेथड्स तो आप इजीली कोई भी क्वेश्चन इसमें से सॉल्व कर सकते हो एंड ये सारे क्वेश्चन आपने अभी मॉक्स में काफी देखे हो ठीक है इफ यू हैव एनी अदर क्वेरी डू कनेक्ट विद ऑन द नंबर इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ द वीडियो थैंक यू सो मच जय हिंद